welcome to the channel G17 Collectibles. Today we're going to take a look at the latest arrival which is the Mandalorian and Child Deluxe set from Hot Toys. Now I say new arrival, this isn't a new arrival, I received it a few months ago um, but it's been patiently waiting in the box for being sealed and revealed um, today which is the 21st of July. Why does it take me so long to get this figure unboxed? Well, I've moved house uh, and I didn't want to unbox anything whilst I was in the throes of moving home. So I'm now settled in, I have a new space, a new collection room and it's time now to get all these things unboxed and on display. Moving house has afforded me the option of having a new display space. Therefore, in the next few weeks, I'll be putting together a new collection tour display video. So please do check in for that one. Now, if you like what you see today, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, it gives me the encouragement to keep going and keep producing new videos. Also, if you want to see new content on some of the new stuff that's arriving, as well as content on some of the items I have already here, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, a subscription is always very welcome. And again, it gives me that encouragement to keep going. So let's have a look at the Mandalorian. Let the camera angle change. We'll get this unboxed and uh, then look at some posing options. Right, so here we are with the, uh, the box. Now I have to say the box has quite a bit of weight to it. And I've literally just unboxed and did a video on the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian as well. And it was of a similar weight. That is a beast of a figure. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Oh my God, it's fantastic. And I'm expecting great things from this, the Mandalorian and Child set. Really impressed with Hot Toys of late. I've had a number of figures come through the door. The OG Mando from season one, episodes one, two, was a fantastic figure. And I've done a video on that, so check that one out as well. The second one I unboxed was a Death Trooper. And the third one was a Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Hot Toys are stepping up with these figures. The quality, the weathering, the, the execution is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, unrelated, I did an unboxing of a Hot Toys Alita. Oh, an amazing figure, so check that one out as well. So typical Star Wars box art from Hot Toys. We have a product image, head and shoulders of Mando and Grogu. Star Wars logo and this lovely um, touch, which is the cardboard um, cigar band type display. And on the side you have lovely image of the Mando and on the other side the continuation of the cigar band. So I really really like these boxes. They've been like this for quite some time on the Star Wars figures um, and as boxes go they are themselves lovely to look at and unbox. It's not just about the figure, it's about the experience you get when unboxing it. Taking the top lid off and we're presented with this um, top cover art. This is beautiful. That image, that pose, oh, inspiration for a posing option right there. That's frame worthy. That really is a lovely shot. And underneath, we have the figure, we have the child, we have the pram, we have the, the best scar um, container. Wow, I can already see there is a lot going on in here. In fact, we've got two childs. Yes. Okay, let's get all this out on the table. Let's have a closer look at it and let's dive right in. So taking the plastic covers off and we are presented with a couple of trays. We have the top tray with the figure. We have the bottom tray containing the base, jetpack, jetpack blast effects, stand, and a top level tray with all the little um, hands, blasters, trackers, so shoulder pauldrons, etc. So already very exciting. This is amazing and I'm getting that lovely Hot Toys plastic smell. Okay, so wow, this is definitely a deluxe set. The amount of things and accessories this one comes from is phenomenal. And you know, it would probably take a good hour to give you an idea and go through every single piece bit by bit, show you the different bits, it's not worth it. What it is worth is just picking up on a couple of bits before we launch into the posing, just to kind of give you a flavour of what this comes with. 
you have a display base, you have this extra piece that goes on the side. Not great because it has the footprints, but we'll work around that. You have this container with the best car goes in, it is lovely. Weather in the detail, fantastic. We have the jet pack. It's the best scar jet, jet pack and it's really, really well painted. It's got some lovely detail. It's got some lovely weathering. It's fantastic. Little bits of best scar, magnetic, pull about off, fantastic. Not really sure about this one. Uh, Mando talking to Mando. It doesn't make any sense. A uh, couple of jet pack blaster effects. You have a dynamic stand. You have all these lovely accessories, flame effect, hands, blaster, pauldron with the mud horn on it. You have Grogu's necklace, you have a tracker, single bar of Beskar, and you have this really cool kind of grappling hook effect that can come out of the, uh, the gauntlet. Then we come to having two Grogu's. You have Grogu in the hover pram, which is magnetic and comes out. Look at the detail on that hover pram. It is amazing. And there's a little um, plastic um, rod that goes somewhere to allow the pram to hover. Look at the internals of that pram and look at little Grogu in that hover pram. It is cute as you like. But you also get a standing Grogu. Head articulation, slight, no arm articulation at all. It's designed to be a rather static piece, fully sculpted, even his little feet. It's fantastic, it's great, it's lovely. That is probably something for the desk. You also have the Hover Pram cover. So if you want to just have Grogu standing there using the force with the Hover Pram cover off to the right, you can do that. And then we have the figure himself with his long blaster. The figure, it looks amazing, I must be honest with you. I already have the OG Mando, and I was super impressed with that. This one is the same, just with the best car armour parts. And they're painted really well. They really are. It's a stunning figure. And I cannot wait to pose this one. Now, normally I would go with a museum pose for all my figures. If you look at my collection videos, you look at anything I've done, I very rarely use a dynamic pose. But there's so many things here that I think... A dynamic pose, some kind of half flight stand type thing is in order. But we don't know until we start going. So let's get camera angle changed, let's get this Mando set up and let's do some posing. So here we have Mando on the display stand with Grogu, straight up and down, no accessories yet. Um, and already I can tell this is going to be superb. The options on this are fantastic. Now, a couple of things I've noticed straight away. Grogu on the pram, there's a rock comes out of this extra display piece here. That's why we've got it. The acrylic rod slots into the hole and it goes underneath the hover pram. So that Mando can have the child to his right or indeed to his left. If it's on his left, it can go on his right. Um, figure wise, you know, um, it's it's very similar to the OG Mando. It's a very similar construction. It's all the same part, just painted differently. So the difficulty with this is this display stand. The feet are in a certain way, and if we wanted to have the feet like that, the footprint doesn't really make a lot of sense. So me, yeah, not incredibly happy about that. But there are options. So what we're going to do now is get the accessories on Mando, get them just standing there, get them looking cool, and then. We're going to try something which will work with both the display and the stats. Okay, so we've added a couple of accessories now. We'll turn them around. We have the jetpack, purely magnetic, that just comes on and off, super easy. We've also put the rifle over his shoulder. We've put one of the um, charges in his belt. And we've also got the blaster in his holster. Now, change a couple of hands, change the pose, you know, this is shaping up to be a really cool figure. Um, lots of accessories, lots of things to do, but to be honest, there's so many cool things that come with this set that it wouldn't do the figure justice, I don't think, to have it in some form of museum pose just standing there. We have to do something cool, we have to do something wicked. 
We have to get him in flight. We have to work with the display stand we've got. So I've got a couple of ideas. Let's make it happen. Okay, so it's not quite fantastic yet. I'm just playing about with some of the accessories, some of the options before I decide on what I'm going to go with. I've tried to bring the mando up. He's just taken off. There's a threat. He's just taken off and he's released some whistling birds. So I've raised him up um, in one-to-one -one ratio, about six inches because he's literally just taken off. Now this works with the, 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 uh, the footprints because the footprints can exist on the base. They make sense because Mando's just taken off. I don't like the pose. I don't like what I've done. But this is just to try and play about with where I'm going to go with this. Um, whistling birds is a nice idea. The problem is with this arm, the range, because of the fat suit that's underneath, the range of motion to try and get this over here is not really working all that well. Um, I have taken the magnetic jetpack and I've put the um, blast effects in it. I like that. It looks good. Um, so kind of thinking, let's switch it up instead of whistling birds. Let's go with the flame effects. Okay, now this is not on properly and I'm not getting the hands on properly. I'm just trying to see what the flame effect looks like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Probably doesn't work when it's in flight. Probably something that Mando would do, kind of half crouched with arm up doing the flame effect. It's nice, it's okay. Not something I'm going to use though. I do have another idea. So yeah, I think we've got this looking slightly better now. We've got a better hand, a better pose. The feet are now lined up with the, um, the footprints in the sand. I'm still not entirely happy, but you can get the general idea. It's looking not too bad. Is it display worthy for the collection? No, it's not. I think I'm going to revert back to standing on the display stand with Grogu in the pram. So let's go for it. Let's try and find the final pose and I'll come back to you in a flash. So after quite a lot of messing around, <clears throat> I've ended up coming back to this. There was something about this that just resonated. I really liked it. It's incorporating quite a lot of elements for me. Um, with the Mando flying away with Grogu. I've used the Grogu from the Pram because it fits better, more securely in his arm there. You can see that I've got the empty Pram and just picked him up, flew away. I've got the jetpack on with uh, the blast effects. His feet are lined up with the footprints, so that makes sense. I've got his head tilted up. And yeah, um, it probably won't stay in this pose now. But it's the best I think I can come up with today. There's just, I'll, I'll fiddle with it and I'll keep futzing with it and I'll get the angles right. But it's got a lot of elements in it that I really do like. Um, that protective nature of the Mando with Grogu. Um, I just, I kind of like it, it works. I just don't know if I'm crazy about it. So, this is one that's presenting a posing challenge and I'll no doubt end up taking the fat suit off. Because what I have in my head is not achievable with all the various accessories, the flame effect, the grappling hook, the whistling bird effects. It's just not possible with this flight suit and fat suit underneath. So if I really want to get what's in my head, I am going to have to strip this figure. God damn it. Okay, so there we are. I'm super impressed with the Mandalorian figure. It's a great addition to the Going Hot Toys collection. I'm really, really happy that I got it. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a fantastic figure. I'm really loving it. I'm looking forward to more Mando releases. Um, so yeah, there we are. The Mando and Child Deluxe version from Hot Toys. Again, if you've liked what you've seen today, please do give me the thumbs up. Please subscribe. It helps run the channel. It helps give me encouragement. And you don't want to miss out on some of the things I've got coming up. The amount of pre-orders that are about to land is phenomenal and I've got some really great pieces coming in from Infinity Studio and GND Studios in the next year, year and a half. So there's plenty to look forward to. Growing collection, big collector, please subscribe, check out some of the videos and yeah, thanks very much for, for looking at this one today.